Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to show you how to export information about your design on InkStitch. So let's get to it. So what kind of information would we be getting out of this? Well, we had a question recently in a comment about how do we find out how much thread we're going to use during a project? because that's not available in your simulator realistic preview. So there is a way to do this, and we will show you how, among other information that you can get out of Inkstitch by exporting your project. Much like you would receive from a company if you've had them digitize your design for you. It'll show you a step-by-step -step process of what the color changes are gonna be, how much thread you're gonna use, what the stitch count will be, all of that kind of information that you would want to receive as someone who's about to stitch out something that somebody else digitized for them. So we're gonna show you that process and how to get that information. So now we're in Inkscape and we're just using a previous design. Yeah, so we have our Hey Peeps patch right here and we kinda wanna show you here in extensions, we'll go to the realistic simulator which will show you the things that you can see from this point of view. So we've mentioned in the past that this is a cool view to be able to show a client. You're doing this for a client, you can get a good concept of what it would look like when you click on that realistic yeah. function because it will kind of give you an idea what this patch is going to turn out as a finished product. But it doesn't give you a whole lot of information. It does tell you the total stitch count here uh, and gives you a overview of the image itself. But you don't get a lot of details about the length of stitch or how many steps are involved other than obviously we have it in color changes here. Pretty much in the same area, if you go to Ink Stitch, Visualize and Export, if you go to PDF Export right here, this is where you get that kind of helpful information. So here we have the, the export view of the PDF, and you can see that, I mean, clearly this is laid out for you as a company or whatever. We can edit this information here. Here you can put your client name. So for us, we're doing it for ourselves, so Project Anonymous. And then you can even put a purchase order number. So whatever format of purchase orders that you have. Also for even more customization, you can change the logo at the top. But what's really cool here is it'll tell you how much time it would take to embroider approximately. It will give you the total number of stitches as you saw in the previous thing. It tells you how many colors. We don't have any starts and stops programmed into the, the thing or trims. We don't have that programmed into this particular design because it doesn't work on our embroidery machine, but you could do that. But what's really cool is it will tell you the total amount of thread used. So you can see for this patch, it will take 62.22 meters of thread. This is, I believe, the bobbin count because it's going to use less bobbin thread. On this page, you can also move your design by dragging it to place and scale it by holding control while scrolling on a mouse or zooming in and out on a trackpad. You can also just set it to fit the page or be 100%. Finally, you can make the preview realistic, which may take a while. And there you have it. What's really cool is the second page will show you that step-by-step -step order. So it will tell you step one is in yellow and it will look like approximately this. Obviously yellow is a bad color to look at here, but this is much like you would see from a company that's giving you a digitized design with the information that you would want to see. The only drawback here that we've noticed is it does not show you the length of thread used for each color. You'd have to do some math involved to get an estimate of that thread use. It will tell you the total number of stitches and then based off of the total number of thread used to do some division there to get how much of that particular color thread you would use. But it is really cool that it will show you a step-by-step -step view or your client a step-by-step -step view of how this should look when they embroider out this project. Once you have everything edited, all you have to do is hit save PDF or you can print it out and then it will save this information and then you have a PDF to email or mail out to a client. So that was a pretty simple process and it gives you a lot of information in a very short amount of time. So it's gonna be very helpful if you need to send it to someone. So we'd like to thank the commenter who asked the question. Uh, not something that we looked into in the past, but really cool if you planned on uh, mm -hmm. selling a design. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.